this is a rare Q&A video Because you guys mentioned that you guys would rather have us answer all of your questions We're gonna make this really quick And you guys left over 300 comments, so First question Sarah, do you go to college or are you still in high school? I go to college right now, I'm first year Do a lot of your friends in Japan know you make YouTube videos? Not a lot, like I don't really like tell my friends openly The only way they would know is because I post some videos on Facebook sometimes But occasionally like they would say like, oh by the way my friend is your like and like, oh. so, like that. so I guess some of them know. Do you Netflix any favorite shows or movies lately? Do you Netflix? I no, don't Netflix. but I want to. We don't have Netflix in Japan yeah. actually. No, we do. We do. Yeah. Oh, do you want to live in the States again in the future? Mm, I don't want to live there, but I would like to like visit uh, like New York City. Oh, oh. Abroad. Okay. Yeah. I could see myself living in the States, but right now I'm happy with Japan and Korea. What is your Choi clan? Um, <laughs> Did you know that? I don't know. I asked dad like Musun Cheshieo. I think that's what it means, oh. Joy Clan and Wu Chongju. Would you like to vlog if possible? Um, or do you want to? I don't want to vlog because number one, my life isn't as interesting as dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm a really normal person and it's like <laughs> it's gonna be so boring. But wait, you don't think I'm normal? Like you're doing you're like so crazy. <laughs> don't, you yeah. think she's, don't you think she's crazy? <laughs> of all the countries you've experienced, which do you think has the best food? I would say Japan. Oh. Japanese food. Japanese food was good. When I first went to Indonesia, I was like mind blown. Like, whoa, this thing is so good. But then, like Indonesian food is really unhealthy, even though it does taste good. Yeah. So you start feeling really groggy the more you eat it. So I would say food that tastes good and makes me feel good is Korean food. I'm curious, actually, how old is Sarah? I. 18 <laughs> Are you coming to America anytime soon? And if so, can you do meet up? Yeah. In like two years Oh yeah, to study abroad yeah. I don't know if I'm going to America or not I don't really have plans to What's it like having so many siblings? Can you list some pros and cons? Also, if you guys are ever willing to do another shout out If this isn't too much, can Benji or Ryan give a shout out to Kim? <laughs> Well, they're not here, so hey Kim from us. <laughs> the pros is that you're never lonely and you always have someone to hang out with. The cons, sometimes we lack attention from our parents. Yeah. Like, especially growing up. Like, mm -hmm. I remember one time, you were not that cute. Like it didn't really matter But me, Jen, and Che We would always fight to sleep next to mom Really? Who's really to be funny? What? Jen and Tyler did that too Jen and Tyler are the same people Jen and Benji I used to be always jealous of my friends That are like only child And they live with like divorced parents And they only live with their mom It's cause it's only one kid So they would like spoil them And like their mom is like their best friend And they would like hang out and stuff I used to always be jealous How about you? What do you think are the pros and cons? Well definitely I they're never lonely and but probably the cons are the house is always dirty oh, that's and I soft. feel that especially us we have a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. Okay, this is like not here, but would if you could choose, would you rather have a lot of siblings or like have like decent uh, amount of siblings? I would rather have a lot of siblings. Oh really? Yeah. I think growing up, like until maybe like high school, I would wish to have less siblings. Mm -hmm. If you're not independent, you have yeah. you only could depend on your parents, but then your parents can't like support you that much. Like, cause our parents weren't like super rich mm -hmm. or anything, right? Just by having a lot of kids. So growing up, it was really hard. But now that I make my own money, it's like it's not that bad. What is your career choice? I want to work with YouTube and one other thing. But the other thing is like, I don't want to tell anyone yet. My future dream is I want to make a business of some sort, but I haven't decided what kind of business. What's my biggest pet peeve? The narrow-minded people. You know how like if you're in a pl group of people, then you have to understand that there's going to be many opinions, right? Mm -hmm. But there are some people like they don't, they can't accept that, and they're uh, like, why? And they get so annoyed from it. It's like, dude. And Sarah, what are your hobbies? Playing the guitar and uh, basketball. Do you like any K-pop groups? Right now, no. What's the best? and annoying thing about Steph? Uh, I'm scared. Like the best thing is it's really fun to be with Steph. Like she's really entertaining, okay? <laughs> but the most annoying thing about Steph is because like she's so hyper. Like when you're like really serious and you just want to, you just want to get something done. Like she's like there just like doing weird stuff and you're just like, what am I supposed to do with you? <laughs> Gosh, you have like energy like 24 7. It's like amazing. Oh, you want to it? 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 Oh, you want
Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we watch it together. My console was I didn't really like the ending. It was a good movie, but then mm -hmm. I was like, I wish that it had a deeper meaning to it. It was really smart how the movie mm -hmm. was made. It was like kinda your so she has to Yeah. Easy to predict. Yeah. How come we don't see Chie in the vlogs? <laughs> yeah, she lives at a door. I heard you did she never comes home? Would you date a foreigner? I would. Jacqueline, I never dated someone that's. Well, I I dated someone that's full Korean, but I've never dated someone that's like full Japanese, and I've never dated an American. So I've dated foreigners already. So what is our zodiac sign? Chinese zodiac. I'm a dog. I'm a cow. With so many siblings, do you ever wonder if you guys are actually adopted? <laughs> I know you thought that. I thought I was adopted for the longest time because one, I was the only tall one and the only flat-chested one, and two, like if you look at our fingers and our toes mine looks different True. compared to all of you guys and I'm like maybe it's because of myself but I felt like I look slightly different compared to you Chi and Jen mm -hmm. and the boys like they're all short except me I'm average kind of in Japan anyway I'm average I remember looking through like looking for like birth certificates and mom what? yeah I oh, went to like the, yeah well. I was like looking for birth certificates and looking for like mom's past diaries to see if she was really pregnant mm -hmm. with me oh my god how old is Brian he was born in 2000 which makes him and he his birthday is in October so he's 15 right now going on 16. Whoa. I can't believe he's going down 16. I know. I feel like he was still like a baby know, like right? yesterday. What's the what do you like best about living in Japan? It's so easy to live here. The service is awesome. Mm -hmm. The customer is always first. I love that. Sarah, did you love someone in the past? <laughs> yes, I loved a lot of you in the past. <laughs> I had like a lot of crutches when I was young. Really? I never yeah, knew that. Yeah, probably like the most time I had crutches was like when I was in Chugakse. So much got had so much crushes. Oh yeah! So right when I went to high school, I was like, I had like zero. I had all, I had like hardly no crushes in high school. I want to know who is born in Japan and who is born in America. We're all born in America except Shie yeah, because she was born in 1995, and that's when the Great Hanshin earthquake occurred. And when the earthquake occurred, we had to come back to Japan and like yeah, like help and stuff. And other than that, we're all born in New York, Joyji, Hackensack. Say hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Um, and she wants to know if Kita could still speak Korean. No, oh, probably like Anya. Yeah, he still speaks Korean now. His accent is even weird. If you were able to switch bodies with any of your brothers or sisters, which one would it be? Probably Brian or Benji. I was gonna say Kyute. What? Kyute? <laughs> he's like so predictable. Why Brian or Benji? Benji, was, I know that like, he like goes a lot, but he's like never at home. Don't you oh, wonder yeah. what he's what he's doing? And Brian. He doesn't say anything to us. Wow, that's so deep. I only picked Kyoto because he, like I wanted to like relive like a young life again. Like careless, like not nah, nah. like, <laughs> I'm so small, I'm smaller than <laughs> everyone else. I'm like <laughs> getting loved by the kombini over <laughs> 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 Do you like American guys? I like mm -hmm. American celebrities, but I never liked an American guy in real life. Yeah, I guess I could like American guys. It depends on the guy though, obviously. I'm not gonna like every American guy. Who is your ideal guy type? If you had to pick three characteristics of your type of guy that you like, what would it be? Someone that is like interested in something like so much they could talk forever about that one topic. And probably like he has like a really nice face. Kind of like a dog face. Like when you look at it, it just kind of makes you smile. I just want to hug it. And like someone that would do anything with me. Like what? You know a lot of Japanese people don't, are afraid of like, foreign countries. Oh yeah, yeah, Like those yeah. kind of stuff. Oh like going to foreign yeah. countries with you and stuff? Well, height is really important for me for mm -hmm. some reason. Like height is more important to me than face. If I were to fall in love with someone right away, I usually like fall in love with like tall guys. Like even before I know their personality. Oh, like, I look uh, up to them like, huh? Ah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, smart guys. I really, really like smart guys and um, funny guys. I guess. Do you guys watch anime? Do you like anime? I never watch uh, anime. But I, I watched uh, Death Note and Hagane Renkin Jitsu. Mitchai. When you're done with anime, it feels like life is over. Like those really? two animes. I only watched like two animes, but. What are three things you like about yourself and three things you want to work on? One, I like my positivity. Two, I like how I have a passion. Three, um, I don't know the third one. Okay, three things I want to work on is my weight loss, my motivation, and my brains. Three things I like myself is something. When I want to do something, I always do it. Like when I truly want to do something. How I don't try to impress people. And um, it's kind of hard to think of things about yourself. Yeah. How about three things you want to improve on? Be more social. Don't think about what people think about you. Don't judge people too much. What's our favorite food? 
Mine is Peeping Pop. Mine is Roto Keke. What age do you plan on getting married? 27. I would love to get married like 26 or 27, but for some reason, I think I'm going to be so deep in my career in my 20s. So I think if I'm married in my 20s, I have a feeling I'm going to get a divorce. So I want to get married in my 30s, oh, I think. Okay. Like for some reason, I have a feeling that if I get married in my 20s, I'm going to get a divorce. It's like 27, 25, it's so close. Yeah, like I want to get married in my, because I want to have a kid in my late 20s. Mm -hmm. But then like, I'm going to be too focused on improving myself and like mm -hmm. for some reason I think at that time it's gonna be like the peak of my career uh, what qualities are you looking for in a husband humble humble is like key humble mm -hmm. people humble and hard-working how many kids do you want I want many kids guys if I for some reason my body only allows me to have two I'm definitely gonna adopt many if I have I'm financially stable but I want a lot of kids I want two to four. And are you happy with your life right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with my life. Mm -hmm. I love life. It's so <laughs> Just like, see, like, just some me saying that it makes me so emotional. But yeah, I love my life. Would you ever date one of your fans? If they were, like, first, like, all fans, I wouldn't want to date them because, I don't know, it's hard to make a real relationship, right? Mm -hmm. but, like, if they secretly pretended that they're, like, not my fan or, like, like you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I might have you know, dated them. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. I agree. I would date a fan, I think. But, like, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't like it if the person was, like, super obvious that, like, he's a fan and stuff and, like, yeah. oh, my God, I'll do anything for you. Like, no. But then, like, I would, to be completely honest, I have, like, people in my meet and greets before. You dated them? No, I never dated them, but like at my meet and greets, there are some people that I'm like, oh my god, so damn hot. Like, uh. <laughs> it's like, thanks for coming to our meet and greets. When are you coming back for to Korea? Honestly, if I had a choice, I would go back to Korea right after graduating and I want to be a, a YouTuber in Korea, but I have no idea what life brings. How tall are you? I'm 150 and I'm 160 centimeters. Maybe it's time to change your intro. Yeah, I always think that. Really? You think that too? Yeah, yeah. But like, like, wow. Should I change it? Like, it's like a new generation. Okay, I'll change my intro, guys, eventually. So are you considering going to Europe? I really I want, want to. to. Yeah. So I feel like France is like my dream place to go uh, to. I want to go to England. UK is nice too. Yeah. Is it hard to live in Japan as a foreigner? I don't think it's as hard to live in Japan as a foreigner compared to other countries. Yeah, because it's so safe. Like, you know, if you were like a foreigner, you went to like I don't know, some sketchy country, like, damn. Like, it's harder, <laughs> personally, I think it'll be harder in Indonesia and like Korea. Yeah. What's the hardest thing you have done in your life? Moving to Japan. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Me too. Oh, really? That was so hard. We cried so much. Are you closer with Brian, Benji, or Kite? That's hard. I think right now I'm closest to Brian only because I spend the most time with him. Benji's never home and Kite's mm -hmm. too young. I would say Brian too. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you choose to go? Right now I really want to go to the Philippines. Philippines? Why? Yeah, because I don't know. I like wow. I like the islands, you know, talking about Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the warm places. Philippines is nice too. The people are awesome. Oh, really? oh my god, oh. Filipino people. I love you guys! <laughs> Like, they're so awesome! I don't feel like I'm ready for Europe yet. I think maybe like India or something. India? Yeah, yeah we did. go to India before? I've never been to India oh, before. Like India. What's your bucket list for 2017? Bungee jumping. Ooh! Me, I want to like finally collab with another um, YouTuber. Oh! Be invited to like big YouTube events and like meet uh -huh. other YouTubers. That's one and two. I want to do the second dream thing. Oh! I'm trying to contact Hajime Shacho. Eh, what is the like, but like, you know, oh, come on, say Goku. My in videos are like in English. I would love to do a vlog. It would be really fun, and I think like he would want to. I think it would be fun though. Sorry, guys, we don't have time to answer all of your questions. But thank you for sending in your questions. I hope you guys like this video. Me and Sarah actually have errands now. We're both gonna be late. <laughs> but I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hacha. <laughs>